Hey up guys, Chris here. And now you may be wondering to yourself that I've already done a review on my Lego excavator. Well yeah I have. But I've managed to get a Lego power function kit off eBay, which includes a battery box, switch, motor and lights. And I've managed to fit them up to my Lego excavator and the motor managed I mean, makes the um, arm move in and out, up and down, as I'm going to demonstrate now. So obviously, here's the motor, and then underneath is the battery box. This actually makes this weigh a lot now, and it's really heavy. And then obviously, that's the switch. Because be before, when I didn't have the motor. It was this bit here, which had a little cog there, which turned this one. But now it's the motor which turns this cog to move that one. So now I'm going to turn it on. Oh no, it's double here we go. So if I move, so if I switch on, nothing's obviously happening. But if I move this little bit here. Move them. Move it back the other way. I can move the arm go back down and the bucket out. And we'll stop it there. There you go. So this is actually a pretty cool kit because I really wanted this to be motorised since it was annoying that you have to keep turning the back bit here. Well, the way you fix it on is on the excavator manual 2. It's right near the back. So obviously this is like dismantling the excavator to put fix the motor in and then obviously that's the peak at the back so yeah this is actually a pretty cool kit but also with the um, power function kit you get to fix it up to another vehicle which is some sort of forklift truck thing and with that you actually get to put lights on so that's pretty cool, because with this one, you don't put lights on, but I tried to, but it didn't look that good. And I'll show you in a minute what I mean. But I might be getting this soon, so I could dismantle take the motor off this one, then put it on that one, see what that, how that one turns out to be. But now I'm going to just stop the recording and fix the lights on and show you what I mean by how it doesn't look very good. Okay, so now I've put the lights on which are in here and I've obviously put the wire on top of this you're not supposed to put the lights on but I was trying to but I have not a clue where to put all the wires this looks a mess I tried to put it underneath but it's, it jammed up the cogs so I'll just show you what it would look like and I think this would look cool if I had the lights on I mean that would look cool it would probably look even better if it was like one of these see through studs went on there. That would look even better. But I'm not going to put the lights on just because you're not supposed to and it looks crap anyway. So that's all I've really got to say. So this is Chris 805 over and out.